Hey guys, welcome back to a new video man. Today, I'm looking a bit professional because this is like a semi-educational video, so you already know. But tell me down in the comments below if you like this look, if I should like rock it a bit more often. But today guys, I'm coming at you with uh, my top five personal development books which I think all you guys should read. I've probably read about maybe, I would say like 50 books all in total, but these are just some of my favorite books, you know? So I'll be giving you my top five recommendations, especially if you're just starting out personal development, or so you know which books to read, like the ones which have changed my life. And I guarantee you guys, these books are gonna change your life as well, man. If you're ready, let's get into it. So guys, coming in at number five, I have this one uh, called uh, Rich Dead Poor Dead by Robert T. Kiyosaki. Guys, this is a very, very good book. So guys, basically this book, what it talks about is um, Robert, he had a stepfather, you know, and he had a real dad. The real dad was an educated man, and then his stepfather, you know, he was educated, but like he didn't didn't like work a normal job, you know, he was a business owner. So in this book, Robert will be explaining the differences between like normal families and rich families, like entre entrepreneur families, you know. So what Robert talks about here is the way like the rich and the poor are raised up, you know, like um, and rich is not just money, you know, rich is also here mental emotional physical so there's a lot of riches in the world it's not just money you know and Robert talks very 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 good about money in this book he also teaches you like the difference between assets and liabilities you know how we should be spending like 70% of our money on assets to help us generate more money instead of liabilities and things which will just buy and they don't make us money this is a really good book guys I won't spoil it for you but guys you gotta read this book it's a great one Rich Dead Poor Dead, Robert Kiyosaki. That's my number five book right here. And guys, coming in at number four, we have this book. It's called uh, The Way of the Superior Man. This book is a really, really good book, guys. You know, especially for guys, like if you want to understand female nature and everything, you know. So this book talks about like, uh, it's, it's, this, this book is kind of a spiritual book, you know. It's, um. It talks about work, you know, like women, you know, desires, you know, so it's a really, really good book, you know. This book is actually quite interesting. It's, this book should probably be my, on my number one, but I, I really like this book. It's really interesting, guys. I don't want to spoil too much for you. It just explains in between the masculine and the femininity, you know, it just explains so good in this book. So this book is one of the best, guys. You have to read this. This is an exceptional book. And guys, coming in at number three, we've had this book. It's called Models. Um, it's by Mark Manson. So this book is a really good uh, book for you guys, especially if you're struggling with women, you know, in your dating life. This book is really, really good. Um, after, after I finished reading this book, I called approach like 20 different women, something which I had never done before, you know. It gives you so much knowledge. It's a very, very, very good book. It talks about, you know, like as you improve like your life, you know, like as you get on your purpose, chase your goals, you know, the quality of women you attract will be significantly better than just some guy staying in his mom's basement. Guys, coming in at number two. Wait, no, 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 no. It's not focusing, bro. Why isn't it focusing? So guys, coming in at number two, we have this book called The Power of Now. Now guys, this book is another spiritual book. The reason I like this book, it explains like how to get more joy in your life if you're depressed or if you're feeling stressed, like what the reasons are, you know. So this book is a very, very good book, man. Like, I read this book twice, you know, I'm probably gonna read it a couple more times. It's a very, very good book, guys. It's a good book to start with, The Power of Now. It's a, um, it's a spiritual book, you know, to enlightenment. It's very, very good. Man, this guy explains very nicely, you know, like why you're not happy, why you're depressed, and how to be happy, how to be more in the moment, you know. So it's a very powerful guys. I definitely recommend you guys to check this book out, man. And finally, guys, coming in at number one, I have this book called A Guide to the Good Life: The Ancient Art of Stoic Joy. So this book is a bit like it's like a, a modern day stoic guide to to modern life, you know, it's by William B. Ivan. Um, it's a really, it's a really, really good book, you know. Um, it's a bit big, you know. It's uh, it's about like 300 pages, you know. So it's all right. It's a medium-sized book. This book talks about a lot of interesting uh, theories, you know, like um, the power of negative visualization. 
this book is also like spiritual as well you know it talks a lot of but like um what makes us unhappy you know like it says our desires if we the more we desire you know the more we be unhappy you know so it talks about appreciating what you have right now so this book guys it talks about people in the ancient rome you know all the, some of the kings which got like exiled you know to like private prisons you know it talks about how they were still able to find joy you know so this book can really help you if you're going through a tough time to overcome anything you know it talks about a lot of interesting theories in here guys you have to check this book out this is a very very good book guys oh yes guys and as i promised i have a bonus book for you guys now here's the bonus book guys called the holy bible now, this book is one of the greatest uh texts that's ever been written in a human history guys you know i mean it's just an amazing book you know you should just check it out man this book you know is read by millions and millions if not billions of people around the planet it's a really good book i recommend it that's the bonus for you guys so guys if you made it to the end i appreciate you man please check out all these books these are very very good books there's one which i wanted to mention it was this one it's called by tony robbins unshakable it's a really good book you know about investing if you're just getting into investing it talks about the difference between broker fiduciary and talks about the hidden fees you know and all the good stuff about investing so that's another book which i wanted to include but didn't make it my top five um i should have put it in but you know you know what it is guys but if you enjoyed today's video guys please leave a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace